We're back at Case Blue. It's the, where are we actually? 26th, 26th of October. We're halfway through the German turn and I thought I'd share a couple of things with you. Uh, I'm certainly enjoying the game and one of the things that uh, folks, I think uh, when they look at a game that's this big and they look at uh, the time to play, it really is uh, something to be savored. And there's also a lot of aspects to the game that are just cool to sit and ponder and look at. But there are also times where turns go really fast. And this is one of those times for the Russians in particular who have just finished their uh, movement and their full turn cycle and all that sort of stuff. They really didn't get to do a whole lot because it's muddy. Uh, the uh, entire northern map is mud and the lower southern map is light mud. And so there's really uh, not a whole lot to do for them. So what we did do was bring in some reinforcements, uh, bring some uh, SP in on the northern board, uh, slowly slog some trucks up uh, roads and things like that. Uh, the, the Soviets have the, the benefit of being mostly in supply all the time, except for when they're being pocketed. And at the moment, uh, the Germans have pushed so far and so fast that, although not, uh, not further than historically, I don't think I can replicate the historical uh, um, advance because I've not played it probably as well as we uh, could imagine, uh, as could be done, I should say. Uh, so, so there's that sort of a little bit of a historical mismatch there, but that's more uh, lack of uh, good planning on my part. So I have decided that I'm taking this game because it's big and complicated way too seriously. So I'm just going to have more fun, become even less concerned with the uh, rules, uh, errors and mismatches and, and mistakes and, cry, and try and uh, just jump in and get going with it uh, a little faster than perhaps I've been uh, in the last uh, month. Because <clears throat> uh, I find myself uh, reading other rules and tinkering, tinkering around with things because I, I don't want to make significant game mistakes with the game. Now that we're in this kind of mud phase, I think we've got you know two or three turns potentially that we can we can probably cycle through October, get into November, and at some point we're going to hit a freeze. That'll open up the movement again, and I think by that time we'll have uh, rectified most of the supply issues that I'm having around the board and uh, laid some rails so we can get things going uh, uh, into Viasma in the north and in the south. We'll get uh, the link up to. Uh, what's this little town? There's a town with an enormously long name that I can't pronounce. Uh, we're going to, down in the Crimean area, we're going to pop a, a rail link over to the highway and then that'll allow us to then press on towards Rostov. So we're having some fun. Uh, what you can see in front of you is Kharkov and the Soviets have uh, smelt the ruse, uh, not the ruse, they've smelt the uh, the volume of forces pressing forward and have elected to do a couple of things. And I'm probably, you're probably, I'm probably going to get out of the picture at this point. And uh, we'll just look at the, uh, if I can move that, I, I can do this. There we go. All right. Uh, so now we can see, you know, this, <clears throat> there was talk, uh, I, I spoke to some of the guys online and I was saying, oh, well, you know, you should, you should just uh, call these guys I use the Godzilla rule where it says if you, you wander off too far uh, without uh, a supply or reinforcement that, uh, that, that the units just disappear off the board because you're, you're being gamey. I reinforced this area very quickly with aircraft and also uh, with uh, an additional regiment and we've now linked up uh, our supply and we are now trying to get around the backside of Kharkov and the Soviets have picked up on this obviously enough. This is fairly heavily defended. Uh, every hex here has uh, either an NKVD unit in it, or uh, that's a worker. He's, he was replacing. He was placing a. Um, actually, he couldn't. He can move this turn, so we're going to pop him over here. If we put him in reserve, he would have got to there. Um, I could flip him into move mode. He'll move faster, and. Uh, so he was putting uh, hedgehogs in here. That's been there for two turns. Uh, so we can uh, continue to, we're trying to build a, a loop so that we can 
protect Kharkov, but I've also got to block off any lunges uh, to cut the railways, because really that's what it's about for this game. Now, clearly if I tried to send units down here and uh, they were unreinforced, we would we would uh, activate that gaminess rule and uh, and eliminate those units. And we're not doing that. We're trying to trying to do this somewhat methodically. So here we have Kharkov uh, isolated and surrounded. The Germans have not moved yet. They're in light mud, so they're not going to get very far. But the idea would be to start uh, spreading some of these larger divisions that are here and pushing them around this way so I can relieve the motorized and the panzer units here, consolidate them back and prepare them to launch an attack or an assault somewhere. And we don't know where. I'd love to try and block this road. And I would also like to uh, potentially try and drive in around on this angle because uh, this would then cut two rail lines uh, for the for the Soviets and have them relying on this rail line, which does not come directly into Kharkov. So while the Germans are pushing this way, the Soviets are extending their defenses this way, but they have not uh, as yet uh, deepened their defenses here. So it's actually kind of thin on this side here, and we may have, once the, an appropriate opportunity presents itself, sweep the panzers back around and try and assault perhaps here, or uh, even put a headquarters here and try and bridge across, if we can do that. All right. That's what's going on there. Just a quick, uh, quick update. I wasn't, uh, wasn't trying to be too, uh, too detailed with all that. We'll see you soon, and I will uh, let you know what happens with the rest of the turn, and we'll keep, uh, keep pressing on and having some fun. And this is, you know, I, I would encourage people if you own the game, you know, break it out and play it. This is a, you know, you don't have to set it all up, but uh, you know, this is fun and. Uh, We'll keep plugging away. You'll see how far we get. I'm ideally like to get through the January uh, January time scale, I think, and try and get uh, get that uh, taken care of, and and then we'll see what um, what we feel about the game uh, and and the level of effort that's involved uh, after that. All right, later.